Indeed, the three things that you need to know this morning have more to do with individual companies than they do with the macro level, where we're not seeing much direction in the futures here this morning. First up, uh, in a big way, is Elon Musk taking a 9.2% stake in Twitter. That's as of March 14th. It's according to a filing that was out this morning. And those Twitter shares are up 22% on this news. Um, and so this is really boosting Obviously, Twitter shares this morning after what has been a pretty lousy performance for the year to date. Uh, also, I noticed this morning with that 9.2 percent stake in Twitter, Elon Musk actually becomes the largest shareholder. That's according to filings called by Bloomberg. If you look here, because of ETFs and index funds, Vanguard Group, Morgan Stanley, BlackRock are some of the top holders. Jack Dorsey, holder number seven with a two and a quarter percent stake. ARC also stands out on this list with about a two percent stake. But obviously, if uh, all of these numbers are correct, then Elon is tops by a, a pretty comfortable margin here. It is a passive state. We passive stake, we should mention as well. Dan Halley, who's our tech editor, is tracking all of this as well. Um, Dan, put this in context for us here, because this felt like in some ways it came out of left field. Yeah, it, it does seem like it came out of left field and it, it kind of does and it kind of doesn't. Uh, the thing here is that Elon Musk, obviously prolific Twitter user, uh, basically just uses it as a place to uh, initiatives as well as, you know, grandstand. Uh, and try to be as edgy as possible on the internet. Uh, he had previously uh, floated the idea of starting his own social network. He also brought up discussions about uh, what he says are free speech issues on Twitter, whether or not uh, it allows free speech. Uh, and so now he's taking this 9.2% stake. Uh, and you know you have to imagine that at some point he you know may try to flex his muscle or uh, take potentially a larger stake or potentially just you know, go ahead for a full on buyout of Twitter. Uh, you know, you, you don't really know uh, at this point what his plans are, especially after making this move. Uh, but, you know, it, it's important to point out that the issues that Elon Musk have with Twitter uh, revolving around free speech are exactly what free speech is. You know, he's talked about how they censor things uh, and Twitter is allowed to do that because that's their option. They don't have to allow every piece of speech on there. That is, in effect, them using their free speech rights. So uh, I, I don't understand what kind of differences he would make unless it would just be, you know, everything uh, thrown out there uh, on Twitter and nothing ever taken down, which, I mean, good luck running a social network like that. You know, advertisers are going to flee as fast as they can. Uh, so, it, you know, I, I mean, it really is uh, an interesting move on his part, but I, I don't know if it's going to be something where, you know, he eventually tries to really make moves or, you know, try to put pressure uh, on the company itself. Yeah, Dan, no, that's a very important point here. Uh, I, 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 it, it, it is hard to imagine Elon Musk making a, a full-on buyout bet uh, on Twitter. But to your point, uh, he's now the lar one of the largest uh, individual shareholders here. Uh, what type of changes do you think he might push for? Yeah, I mean, he may want to get a new CEO in. Uh, obviously, we do have a new CEO at Twitter, Jack Dorsey, uh, stepping back from the position. Uh, he's basically going to just move away from Twitter entirely uh, in a few years. That's that's his plan. Uh, so, uh, you know, he could want to uh, install his own CEO. He may look and say, you know, uh, I want these kinds of speech changes or these kinds of uh, capabilities. Uh, he was criticizing the company uh, for including NFTs at one point. Uh, but, you know, maybe that's something that uh, he would just, you know, seek to tamp down on while uh, they improve the service. Maybe he won't even do anything about speech at all. Uh, and he'll just make Twitter a better experience. Uh, you know, obviously, uh, there's more room for monetization at Twitter. Uh, it's been criticized. Uh, forever uh, for not being as well monetized as something like Facebook. Uh, so, you know, we'll have to see. But uh, as, as you know, you say, it's it's a, a strange move that seems almost out of nowhere. But again, it's not necessarily just because of his interest in Twitter. And obviously, it's where he's gotten himself in the most trouble. Uh, we have that tweet where he said taking the company uh, private for $420 a share. We have him uh, being sued for calling a person who was trying to save kids trapped in a cave uh, a pedo guy. So, uh, his constant attacks on politicians. So, uh, yeah, I, I mean, it really is just, it feels out of left field, but it's not necessarily given his interest in it. Dan Halley, thank you. We're going to talk much more about this in just a moment.